Today I'm going to show you how to do the Hungarian braided stitch for the stem. So you just come up through here, make a stitch. Try to keep this straight, not wiggle too much. And you're going to go down a step and then come up and you're going to go through that first stitch. Um, this is making a common braided stitch. And then you'll go right back through that hole that you came up through. Now that's a common braided stitch. Now to make a Hungarian, you're going to take another step down and then you will get snagged in the back. Hang on. Give me a second to untangle this. Okay. So then you're going to take that through that first stitch again. But when you do, you're going to leave a little bit of a loop here. And then go through your stitch again. And leave a loop on that side as well. And then you're going to go down a step again. Sorry, my camera keeps unfocusing. And then you're going to go through that smaller st stitch that we have, the first braid that we have going on. So it's going to look like that. And once you have your needle through that, you can tighten up those other threads and pull that through. Okay, and then you can go uh, tighten that up a little bit. You want to keep that loose. This thread just keeps wanting to curl on me. So then you're going to have these loops and you're going to go down a step again. And you're going to again go through the center braided stitch. Once the needle's through, you can tighten those other ones. And then bring the needle through. So that's your Hungarian braided stitch. And so just keep going with that for your stem. Alright?